Hello students, some of you have sent me this video and asked me what do I think? Should Merle dump her boyfriend? So I'm gonna look at it with you and we're gonna to decide together. Let's look at our notepad here, write down Merle, and write down good and bad. Every time that she says something good, we're gonna write a check mark and every time she says something bad or that doesn't make sense, we'll make an X. Let's see how this goes. Here we go, let's listen. Interestingly, you know, before we started dating, I always said to myself, I don't think I could ever date a vegan. There are times when I do judge. I can't lie and just be like, oh yeah, it totally doesn't bother me when you automatically order steak. That, oh, like... You know, she did that. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Merle. I'm Aria. And we are dating. Yes, almost two years now. They've been dating for two years, okay? Hi, wow. That's a really long time to be with somebody who keeps eating dead animals. I'm gonna give her an X for that. You should not be with somebody that long. It's way too long. If he is still eating animals, you should have dumped him after about the first month. A whole year. I tried whistling there. I can't whistle. <laughs> no, it came in. No. I get this question all the time mm -hmm. from people saying, how do you date? someone who's not vegan. So like the reason that we made this video in the first place is just to open the larger conversation, not to get approval from anyone else as to like why he's not vegan and I am or why, you know, why I'm. If he's not vegan, it's because he's just not a, not a good person. It's as simple as that. If he knows the information. Did you teach him yet? Did, did he watch all the documentaries? Or does he just not know? And how could he not know? If he doesn't know what's in the documentaries, that's on you. You should have exposed him to them. I'm okay with it or whatever. So basically what I'm saying is, if you're negative in the comments... Get these fucking hands. Well, I was just gonna say, if you're ne What? He's gonna beat you up if you tell your opinion? He's gonna beat you up for defending animals? Oh, I don't like this guy. This isn't looking good so far. Negative they're gonna comments. know. They're gonna get these fucking hands. If you're negative in the comments... Twice? You're only doing it to yourself. The frustration is only really gonna affect you. But you're also entitled to your opinion. Ah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. What? Now he doesn't think that people are entitled to their opinion? He thinks you're entitled to the opinion that it's okay to hurt animals. Um, Merle, why are you with this guy? I'm already up to five X's here. What are you guys up to? I got five already. This is not gonna look, this is not working very well so far. But lead with love, maybe, huh? Some, some opinions. Well, that's for sure. I mean, people that kill people. Yeah. Torture. People that torture. Oh, so he agrees that it's wrong to kill and torture people. Good. People too. Or animals. She points out the animals? Yeah? Wow. And he says, no, no, it's different. To torture animals, it's okay? Merle, why are you with this guy? He gets another X. You get an X. You actually are the one who gets the X. Him, I'm not, we're not really evaluating, but you get an X because you are just letting him say these things, letting him do these things and not confronting him for his moral inconsistency. Why? Why? Why are you letting him get away with that? Why are you with somebody like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh at somebody who talks about, who jokes about hurting animals? What is your face doing? It's not good to be fake in life. Fake smiles are no good. No. <laughs> My thoughts on this are like, for me, it depends on the people in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, I think it's, I think it's very much case by case, right? Relationship by relationship, yes. and the people involved. Yeah, you can't just look at every relationship where there's a meat eater and a vegan and be like, how do they all do it? You know what I mean? Um, what do you mean? No, you can of course ask. Of course you can ask. How do they do it? What is she saying? It's not okay to ask? Because mm -hmm. people are different and people go vegan for different reasons. Some people it's for health, some people it's for animals, some people it's for the environment. And there are Nope, there's only one reason to be vegan, for the animals. Yes, it's good for health. Yes, it is also good for the environment. But being vegan is about the animals and only the animals. So you get an X for not knowing that. You're not a real vegan if you don't understand that. Go and look up the vegan society definition. A lot of different omnivores out there, like some people that eat 80% plant-based or some people that eat 10% plant-based. It's not like a one-size-fits-all answer. It probably has something to do with the fact that when I was growing up, my mom was vegetarian and she mm. used to let me eat meat. Mm, that's she, a, yeah, I can see how that would... Mm. She didn't like cook meat for me, like she wouldn't like make chicken for us, but she would buy me cold cuts at the grocery store. Your mom was a vegetarian? 
first of all, that's a huge red flag right there. Vegetarians are horrible people because they still believe in, the in buying things from the dairy industry and the egg industry, which are extremely abusive. They murder animals in those industries. Vegetarians are the worst because they walk around thinking that they're good, but they still pay for murder. Vegetarians are terrible, and here's a perfect example as to why. Her mother still bought cold cuts. She still bought the flesh of pigs. She still paid somebody to murder animals and then to slice them and then brought them to her daughter. What the fuck? Even though she's been vegetarian for like 20 years. It's just because she wanted me to like come to that decision by myself. But she would... Your mother wanted you to come to that decision by herself? By yourself? What? What? Wait, what? Does she all, did your mother also let you hurt other animals? Did your mother let you pull the tail of cats? Kick dogs? Step on ants? Throw frogs against a wall? What else did your mother let you do? Your mother seems to be fine with paying for the rape and the torture and the murder of animals. She wasn't even a real vegetarian. No wonder you're this way with this guy. Your mother taught you all wrong. She always talked to me about the environment and like, I, she always like, we always had a lot of animals growing up. Like, You had animals growing up? Did your mother also kill them and feed them to you? Which ones? What do you have here on the picture? A cat, a bird, a dog. Did you eat any of those, Merle? I mean, your mother was okay with bringing you cold cuts. Like she definitely instilled like my love of animals in me at a young age without she instilled your love she she taught you to love animals by bringing you their dead bodies and putting them in a sandwich for you do you not hear yourself merle your mother was not a good woman good people don't do that being like yeah don't you cannot eat meat because if you eat meat like you're a bad person you know parents really it is true if you eat meat you're a bad person What's the opposite of that? Do you think that if you eat meat, you're a good person? Do you think, Merle, that if you pay somebody or yourself, you pay somebody to hold a cow upside down who is flailing and begging for their life and crying, and you rip their legs out of their sockets by hanging them upside down, torturing them, and then you come at them with a knife and you stab them in the throat until they bleed all over the place, you think that you're a good person if you do that? You think you're a good person if you pay for that? You think that your boyfriend is a good person? No. Something's wrong, Merle. Seriously wrong. Really shape their children, right? And I can definitely see that influence on you. You you attract more bees with honey than you do Ooh. by uh, smacking them around. Is that a real saying? Yeah. That's a good saying. Yeah. I think it's attract more flies with honey. Right. And you know what else is really act? So you're saying that you think that your nice attitude attracted you this nice boy, this guy here, Aria, because you're not too hard on him, you attracted a good person? No, you attracted a monster. He's been with you for almost two years and he still pays people to take baby pigs, to at the tender age of just a few weeks, cut them open and remove their, their testicles. That's what happens in the industry. Cut their tails, rip out their teeth here. That's what they do. They absolutely torture baby pigs. You're okay with being with this guy? This is your way, this is how your mother taught you to attract people by allowing you as a young person to make your own decisions? Your mother should never have given you meat. She should have never given you e eggs or dairy. Your mother should have instilled in you uh, how to be a good person, how to stand up for the animals, not to be selfish, not to be a coward. Your mother missed. And look at the lesson she taught you. She's allowing you to be with this guy who's a coward, who thinks it's okay to kidnap baby cows from their mothers and turn them into veal sandwiches. This guy is okay with rape. Do you understand that? He pays people to artificially inseminate cows against their will without consent. Do you know about consent? Merle, do you know what consent is? Your boyfriend does not agree with consent. He thinks it's okay to harm these cows and he thinks it's okay to steal.
Your boyfriend steals. He pays people to kidnap. He pays people to rape. This is what your mother taught you. This is how she taught you to let you make your own decisions. You must not let him off the hook. You shouldn't be with somebody like this. Actually makes it easier is he doesn't eat a lot of dairy. Like he doesn't eat cheese. No, really. no. That's irrelevant. So he only what pays for a certain amount of cows to be taken away from their mothers? Just a few baby boy cows? That's okay with you? How about none, Merle? How about you tell him, no, we can't do this to animals. It's our responsibility to be kind to them and have empathy, compassion at all times, not just on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm a big cheese person. When we go out to eat, I'm like, you order obviously whatever you want. But when we're here and he's cooking, no. he cooks vegan meals. No, it's not you order obviously whatever you want at all. It's you order something vegan on the menu. That's the rule when you're dating somebody. You do not let them eat dead animals in front of you. You do not, you are not an enabler in a relationship. Do you know what an enabler is? It's somebody who helps somebody to be a bad person, to do bad things. Don't be an enabler in your relationship, Merle. Your job is to teach him how to be better, to teach him how to be courageous and brave, to care beyond his own taste buds, beyond his, his own selfish needs. What you are doing yourself, Merle, is being selfish. Real vegans are brave and they aren't selfish. They don't let people get away with this stuff. Well, people will always get angry about veganism. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, mean, I was thinking about it. You know, my breakfast generally nowadays is just uh, their oats, so that's vegan too. So basically my only meal of the day that's not vegan is like usually dinner. I'm just luring them in and getting them into yes. a false sense of safety. What so is that she I can... saying? She's saying her, his, that it's okay that he just, the other two meals of the day, he eats you know, plants, and then the, the, the third meal, well, he decides to participate in these cycles of violence. Is he also um, a racist for one, one third of the day? Is he also homophobic for one third of the day? Doesn't make sense. If you know something is wrong, you don't do it all day, every day. Spring all the documentaries on at once. <laughs> I look at it just like, I you haven't shown him the documentaries yet? You've been together almost two years? Merle, why? Why? You have this idea that, that, it, that this is optional in a relationship when you're vegan? It's not an option. It is mandatory. Every vegan must show these people these documentaries, must insist that they watch them, and if they don't watch them, you must never trust them again. You cannot trust somebody who doesn't open their mind. You cannot trust somebody who doesn't open their heart, Merle. And I don't trust you because you're too weak. You care more about having somebody in your life for companionship and to have a hug, and to make you laugh uncomfortably than you do about the animals. Put yourself in their place, Merle. Who would you want to defend you if you were the victim? Would you want yourself to say, well, yeah, it's okay to hurt animals once a day, as long as you don't do it the other two meals of the day. Come on, Merle. Merle, you're better than this. I'd look at any other thing that's a requirement in a relationship that I'd want to be in. It really depends on, on what you're comfortable with. Like, are you comfortable dating someone who smokes? If you don't smoke, are you comfortable? It's not the same thing. Smoking doesn't involve another person, another victim, another sentient being. It, it's not the same thing, Merle. Comfortable dating someone who goes out a lot, even if you don't... Who cares if they go out a lot? They're not victimizing somebody. They're not paying anyone to put pigs into gas chambers, Merle. Go out a lot. Are you comfortable dating someone who jumps out of planes for fun? Who cares? Let them do it. It doesn't hurt anyone but themselves. We're talking, Merle, about victimizing innocent animals. Chickens, cows, pigs, turkeys, lambs. Do you understand? If he jumps out of a plane or anybody else does, there's no victim involved. There's no suffering involved that, in, that, that involves somebody hurting another. What part of that do you not get? You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a big leap, but yeah, yeah. Like those are all things you have to solve for yourself. 
when you're considering a partner, there are a lot of values to take consider, right? Because you know, like you want to make sure your values line up. And in many ways, what you eat is, is, is especially for a vegan, I would, mm -hmm. I would believe so. That is a big, you know, ethical value. That no, it's an ethical value what you eat, whether you're vegan or not. It's just a value. Mm -hmm. You believe it, so I can, I can imagine how that's difficult for you and other vegans to, to see your... You can imagine that it's difficult for her and yet you'll order a steak in front of her? Why? Why would you deliberately hurt somebody that you call your girlfriend? Yourself ...with someone who doesn't match or align with that value. So again, if you're... Why, Merle, do you put up with somebody who deliberately hurts you? That's so bizarre. For someone that's vegan, I would say that that, that doesn't want to... Would you be okay, Merle, if for his third meal of the day where he's eating dead animals that he would just grab a cat off the street and murder the cat? Dogs? Chickens okay? Yeah? Pigs, turkeys, cows, lambs, all those are okay. No. You don't let him order what he wants on the menu. You stand your ground and you forbid it. Or you tell him to take a hike if he doesn't listen. Be with someone who's a meat eater, then that's completely valid. Interestingly, you know, before we started, I always said to myself, I don't think I could ever date a vegan. We eat vegan often together. Basically, the word vegan means to be kind to animals. So what you're saying is you thought before you could never date somebody who is kind to animals. That's what it means. How does that make any sense to you? What kind of a monster says that? Look at her looking at him. Why has she not strangled him by now? <laughs> I don't understand. Especially when I'm here with you or on weekends and whatnot. But, you know, there are times where sometimes I'll eat something that involves like a little, some seafood or some meat. And, you know, Merle has, has no problem with that. And so there again, it's case by case. So then you could be with someone who's a lot stricter that refused to date someone that doesn't, that, that's not vegan. First of all, that's a good point that you made because I feel like all the time the question is asked to the person that's vegan, like, how could you date someone that's not vegan? But it's actually sometimes the meat eater that's mm -hmm. like, mm, no. I feel like had, there's that stereotype of like the vegan person's the judgy person mm -hmm. um, or the one who's like, no. The vegan should be the judgy person. Of course they should. We're here to defend the animals. And by the way, when I said strangle him, I don't mean it. Not physically. I mean, like, strangle them, him in, in the sense that mentally just push him out of your life. Strangle that part of your life. Strangle the relationship. Don't obviously hurt a human, but get rid of him. That's too difficult, but that's not always the case, okay? I'll say this. I always envisioned it being very difficult for me to be with someone who didn't eat meat. Not just because of how I feared that might limit what I could consume, but also like because I enjoy sharing, you know, dishes that include uh, you know, seafood. Like, my favorite dish of all time that I love to cook, that I love to eat, is... I enjoy sharing dishes that involve dead bodies. And she's just sitting there nodding. Why? Why aren't you saying to him, how do you enjoy, honey, how do you enjoy sharing this thing with me that I don't want? What else does he do? What else does he... It's like, this is the kind of boyfriend who buys his girlfriend uh, some, uh, some negligee, some really uh, tight-fitting, sexy lingerie that's like super itchy, and he just wants her to wear it, because that would like, he enjoys sharing, he wants to buy her things. Meanwhile, she's wearing this thing, and she's like, I'm not comfortable. It's really freaking itchy. Just give me an old t-shirt. I want to sleep in a t-shirt. And he's just like, but honey, I enjoy giving you presents. Don't you want this? What does he not understand? And how does she, how does she put up with him? A spaghetti alla vongoli, which is spaghetti with clams. Miral has made a delicious vegan version of that. Miral. I said Miral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, what? The she has a delicious vegan version of that. So what's the problem? She's literally presenting you with an option and you won't take it? You still want to serve her this murder on a plate? Why? Thought of me not being able to cook Merle, you know, some of my favorite dishes, you know, it's, you know, it, it sucks, but you know, I think it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna, it's not like, so I'm not losing sleep over it, but you know, so there's, there was that. Like, That's good, you're not losing sleep over it. Oh, good job. Kind of that hesitance on my end, which is always something I, I battled with, and you know, it's, you know, c'est la vie. I think something that makes it work with both of us is that we're. No, it's not c'est la vie, it's c'est la death. That's what it is. Both fairly open minded. We also both really love to cook. When it comes to vegan food, I... How can they think that they are open-minded? How about you ask the animals their opinion about that? Ask the animals if you're open-minded.
as they're being sent down long, dark halls, terrified, forced with electric prods to go into a dark alleyway where they will be murdered. Ask the animals if they think you're open-minded. Ask the chickens who are being held upside down and their necks slid open. Ask the lambs who are removed from their mothers, crying, murdered, just to be eaten. Ask the mothers who miss their babies. Ask them if you're open-minded. I have no issue. I, you know, as, for me, food in general, as long as it tastes good, I'm happy. Actually, Arya makes more exceptions because he cooks plant-based food for me. Making and himself. Sh She's literally defending a murderer. All the time, whereas I'm not cooking meat for him. That's very true, actually. So it's a good point. Oh, I need to cash in on that goodwill. What is that? What did he just do with his hand? Did he just do a masturbating signal? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> 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 no, this was me like, cashing in. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah. I guess it looks like I was looking for a hand job. Yeah, it did. I think I've introduced you to a lot more. Ooh. Oh, absolutely. Foods. Yes. The world of roasted veggies is something I never really explored before. Uh, truly, like before I started dating more, like I never was. I hated cauliflower. I hated Brussels sprouts. Now I love roasting those things up. The way I try to approach it is just like present information or present things that maybe you wouldn't normally click on or you wouldn't normally watch and then let you draw your own conclusions. We watched My Octopus Teacher and I just wanted to see it. It was Academy Award nominee. It's a great movie. A winner eventually. And then winner. And anyway, she so- wept. <laughs> She wept. Uh, after we watched My Octopus Teacher, I told Merle, yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna eat octopus anymore. It was very sad to see how smart they were. And this okay, so he decided, because he saw a movie about octopus, that he wasn't gonna eat them anymore. But why has he not been shown videos of all of the other animals and stopped eating them, Merle? You're not doing your job educating him. See, you know, the relationship uh, built with the human, and we can make that argument for, you know, and many other uh, creatures that... You know. Tell me something I don't know. Do you think she has contempt for him? What's going on? You know, uh, non-vegans uh, consume, uh, but, uh, you know, one step at a time. From a, just a human being standpoint, a lot of the time I tend to go by the belief system of like let people make their own choices in life mm. and do it no we don't let people make their own choices in life we don't let people steal we don't let people hurt women we don't let people be racist we don't let people be homophobic we just don't allow it if he was homophobic would you let him make his own decisions if he was racist would you let him make his own decisions well honey you can do whatever you want i'm not going to be racist but hey you go ahead and by the way when we have kids you go ahead and just let them be racist too honey that's what you think? Really, Merle? What you can yeah. to add to their life in a meaningful way. I can only do so much. You can lead a horse to water and... Yes. But that's... I can only do so much. You haven't done enough. Why does it say dad on his shirt? Is he a father? That's pretty scary. So will that... Will... Could that cause friction for me 10 years down the line? Who knows? 10 years down the line? No. Merle, you have one month left with him. That's it. You insist that he watches all of the documentaries. Write them down. Dominion Movement, Earthlings, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy, Forks Over Knives, The Game Changers, What the Health, and the five minute one called Dairy is Scary. Start with those. After he's watched those, if you notice that he doesn't have a heart, that he's not being swayed, you need to show him the door. Open the door and Show him the way to the sidewalk and say bye and never look back. It might be hard at first because I know there's things about him that you like, but fundamentally he's not a good person and you need to move on and find somebody who will be. And there is somebody out there, Merle, for you. There's a better man for you, Merle. Somebody will help you to be tougher. Right now you're too much of a pushover. Maybe you have a heart for the animals, but it's not fully developed because you're allowing people in your life to pay to hurt them and that's not who you should be Merle vegans need to be tough and brave and be willing to tell the truth and not put up with men like this you need to dump him
unfortunately, Merle, right now you're failing. But I'm not going to write fail on your paper because I have faith in you, Merle, that if you do see this video, you're going to step it up a notch. One more month. Teach him. Tell him. The time's running out. If you don't declare right now that you are going to be vegan 100% out of the house, away from me, in the house, when we move in together, when you are a, a dad to my kids, you leave him. Trust me, you will be happy in the long run. Be serious about it. Throw him out. If he decides come, to come crawling back in a few months, which most likely he will, then look him in the eye and see if he's really serious. Do a couple of tests on him. But really, if at that point, after he's seen all of the documentaries and hasn't figured out that you are worth holding on to as a human being, Merle, that you are better than him, just leave him. There's plenty of amazing vegan men out there and people who are not yet vegan, who are willing to be open, to are willing to open their eyes and their heart to the animals, not just to one octopus. I'm not going to eat octopus anymore, he says, while he pays people to hurt all these other animals. It's not okay. All right, thank you for watching everybody. You're gonna see some videos popping up on screen. Please click on them, be curious. If you haven't yet subscribed, look down. Do you see the subscribe button? You see it? Press that and also press the notification button. Do you see that? It's like a bell. Press the notification bell. And then you'll be getting all the bings and we will be able to hang out here. Thanks so much for all the moderators who helped me out. Thank you to everybody who helps to educate others. Thank you to everybody who is brave enough to be vegan. The animals need us and they need us now. Thank you.